My name is Amanda, and I am one of the children's librarians at the Thomas Crane Public Library in Quincy, Massachusetts. This video is part of our DIY Children's Programs resources. For more program resources, as well as ebooks, streaming movies, TV, music, and much more, please visit thomascranelibrary.org. Today, we're going to make a stop motion movie. Stop motion is a fun way to make an animated movie in with just a smartphone or tablet and some toys you have in your home. For this activity, you will need a smartphone or tablet with one of the many stop motion apps loaded onto it. You can find a stop motion app by searching stop motion in any app store. Parents and caregivers, please note that while most of these apps are free, some of them do have in-app purchases to unlock more advanced features. We're not going to be using any of those advanced features today. I'm going to be using Stop Motion Studio on an iPhone with no additional features unlocked. You will also need a way to prop up your phone or tablet that leaves the camera free, and you will need toys and other objects to use in your movie. You're also going to need a space to film. You want it to be somewhere where you're not going to get interrupted, and the items that you're using won't get moved in between shots. Once you're ready, let's get started. As you can see, I've set up a little stage on a table. I'm using a box to prop up my phone. Start a new recording, and you can start taking pictures. I'm taking a first one to set the stage, then moving my horse figure. As you can see, this takes a little bit of time. You're going to need some patience while you're making your movie. Stop motion animation means that you are doing motion and then stopping and then doing more motion and then stopping. It does take quite a bit of time to make a very short movie. This is how all animation works. Animation made by digital animation or animation using traditional drawn methods is doing the same sort of thing. It just moves so fast that you can't tell that they're individual pictures. As you can see, I'm adding figures into the shot. This is a very simple movie using only a couple of items, and I'm only moving them a little bit each time. If you move them too much each time, they'll look like they are moving faster once the movie continues on. If you have your own toys to play with, you can decide what you want to do yourself. Do you want to try and make an explosion? You could draw it on paper and add it to a shot when the explosion happens. Do you want to try and make things fly? That might be tricky. You'll have to use your imagination to figure out how to do that. In between moving each figure, I'm taking a photo. What the stop motion app does is takes each photo and then lines them all up to make a movie when you're done. Each of these photos is only making up a very tiny amount of time in your finished movie. Your stage can be just about anything or anywhere. I've used a white paper bag just to make a nice clean surface. Do you have Legos around your house? You could use those. Clay is a wonderful thing to use for a stop motion animation because you can change it just a little bit each time. Movies that are made with clay and stop motion are often called claymation movies. There are a lot of different examples of those, but Shaun the Sheep is one you may be familiar with. Notice I've removed a figure at this point. That's because I want that figure out of the shot now. When it's animated, you won't see my hands. You can set many stop motion apps to take pictures on a timer, giving you a certain amount of time between shots so that you don't have to hit that record button every single time you want a new shot. Beware though, when you do this, that can mean your hands end up in the shot if you're not fast enough. On one hand, that can be kind of funny. On the other hand, sometimes you don't want that. The other nice thing about an stop motion animation is that if something falls over or breaks or doesn't look quite right, you don't have to take the photo. 
you can set it just right before taking the picture. Notice I've moved the tiny horse a lot further in between each shot. That's because I want it to be moving faster at the end of the movie, as if it's trying to catch up with its friends. Now let's see how it looks. Stop Motion Studio lets me see part of the movie that I've just recorded. To see the whole thing, I'll have to go back out to my projects. Now I can scroll through all my shots and see how the movie looks shot by shot. When I get to the beginning, I can start from the very start. Tapping on one shot will let you edit things. This may not be exactly how it's done in every app, but in Stop Motion Studio, that is how it's done. Now you can see my movie with the horses entering, circling around, and the little one chasing its friends out. Here's our movie. Thanks for watching.